Texas, and for information purposes, uh, the Chartered Governance of in, uh, Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe has changed its name to the Chartered Governance and Accountants Institute in Zimbabwe. Uh, we are as a, uh, a creature of the Act, and once the Cabinet approved our name change, we then went ahead and rebranded, as you would see. More will come as we deliberate, but let me introduce you to your host, uh, the President of the Institute, uh, Mr. Taona Munjandi. Mr. Taona Munjandi. Uh, the Vice President of the Institute, Mr. Jonathan Yube and Mrs. Kembele Nguye in absence. We also have the past president of the institute, Mrs. Leticia Gaga. Welcome. Uh, we also have the technical research manager, Ms. Dr. Maseko. And also, last but not least, we have our students and members of uh, manager, Mrs. Uh, Tracy Shonga. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your hosts. Now, to introduce our host to us, I would ask Commissioner Msalengan to come and introduce the guest of honor as well as the team that is brought to us. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dr. Kamara, for this opportunity that has given me to make introductions on our police team. Yeah. Uh, with us, I would like to introduce uh, Inspector Chikonyani. <laughs> and beside him is Inspector. The, you know, we have Chief Superintendent Benson, who is the late uh, the Chief of Staff Security and Protocol Safety. The then we have Chief Superintendent Kachuona, the ADC to the Commissioner General of Police. Then uh, we would like to introduce. Uh, Assistant Commissioner Lifa Crispin, uh, who is the uh, City of Staff Officer training at Police General Headquarters. Then, among us, we have uh, Assistant Commissioner Chizono the Senior Staff Officer Commissioner General of Police. Of course, let me introduce myself. I am uh, Commissioner Masarengana. Chief Staff Officer, Training and Development at Police General Thank you for inviting us to this momentous occasion. Going up the ladder, allow me to introduce uh, the Deputy Commissioner General, Administration, Deputy Commissioner General, El Chipato. Deputy Commissioner General, Human Resources, thank you, sir. Then we have uh, Deputy Commissioner General Responsible for Administration, Deputy Commissioner General Al Mure. Then we have as well our uh, Deputy Commissioner General Responsible for Crime, or Deputy Commissioner General Crime, Deputy Commissioner General E.M. Girandi. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to invite the police leader, the team, the principal with regard to the this moment of our event. Uh, he is none other than the Commissioner General of Police, uh, Commissioner General of Police, T.G. Matanga. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. this is the police team. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to make the introduction. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, Asante Sana, Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, 
again, I must make mention that this is historic in the sense that we are rebranding at the same time we are celebrating our 50th anniversary uh, when we were founded in 1971 as an act of parliament. And uh, this year, just to uh, uh, give information to uh, Commissioner General of Police, we are going to be having our conference in Victoria Falls on the 23rd and the 24th of September. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Comrade uh, Ibi Mnangagwa, will be the guest of honor as we celebrate our 50th anniversary and our rebranding at the conference day. The team, the team is towards Vision 2030, and we'll be having a very powerful panel where the Reserve Bank Governor, the Commissioner uh, uh, Anti-Corruption, ZTA, and among other speakers, international and local, will be at the contract of the Victoria Falls on the 24th of September. And for this occasion, it marks the beginning of our celebrations, and we thank you, Commissioner, and your team for just kick-starting this. Thank you so much. Let me, at this point in time, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to you the president of the Institute of, uh, of the Chartered Institute of Governance and Accounting in Zimbabwe, formerly Ixan, uh, Mr. Taona Mundandi, to give us his opening remarks as we await our guest of honor's remarks. President. This is uh, one of a different occasion where we are to identify each other whilst we are covered by our masks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a critical issue in regards to the police work where they are required to identify <laughs> the criminal uh, who is completely covered. And, uh, uh, the director of ceremonies, Dr. Lav Mogonera, the Commissioner General of Police, Commissioner General T.G. Matanga, the ICSAS Vice President and Education Committee Chairman, Mr. Jonathan Dube, Deputy Commissioner General of Crime, Deputy Commissioner General M.E. Girandi, Deputy Commissioner General Administration, Deputy Commissioner General L. Wurde, Deputy Commissioner General Human Resources, Deputy Commissioner General L. Chipato, Past President, Ixas, Year President, Commissioners of Police, Year President, Excess delegates, here present, senior officers and officers of the Zimbabwe Republic Police, here present, members of the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you all to this gathering. The Zimbabwe Republic Police and Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe, the MOU signing ceremony. I would like to assure you that this is a very special occasion to both our organizations as we aim to formalize the educating of the police force. This is a vital part in the development of a relationship that we anticipate to last for the future. The presence of all of us here signifies the importance attach we attach to our success in our organizations. I therefore wish to emphasize that it is 
through education, innovation, and motivation that agendas will be achieved even in this pandemic period. The impact of coronavirus, COVID-19, is being felt by all sectors around the world. And it is our duty to change the course. I am excited and looking forward to this positive relationship. I have no doubt that the students will benefit from the partnership that we are formalizing. I think even if the CG can testify uh, that this is the second time we are meeting here and that mm. those who have graduated, I think they are not the same as they were. And uh, the, the benefit should start to be actually coming out now from the education, the training that they have received as the institute. We don't produce academics, but practical practitioners in their respective uh, fields of specialists. With these few remarks, <laughs> with these few remarks, it is again my pleasure to welcome you once again to the ZRP Ixas MOU signing ceremony. I thank you. Over to you, DC. Uh, thank you very much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> round of applause for our president of the Institute. The time that is, we have been waiting for has come. A time that reminds us that when, when one makes a promise, he abides by the promise. I remember on the 24th of April 2019, we had the launch at the Morris Depot. And the uh, Deputy Commissioner Chipato was there among the high-ranking officials from your office. You had mandated them with uh, Deputy Commissioner Operations then, uh, Mr. Mtamba. Yes, Mr. Mtamba presiding over on your behalf. We then had a graduation here where you graced the occasion and you honored us. It was again in this room that you reiterated your commitment to capacitate the force. You mentioned, if I still remember well, the fact that <clears throat> illicit crimes and financial, illicit financial crimes and white collar crimes has become very sophisticated. In that regard, you also say to us, it is a challenge for you professionals to capacitate the law enforcement organs in this country. Hence, the forensic accounting qualification that we started with you, and we would like to thank you for honoring that, sir. In this regard, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'll ask and invite our honorable guest today, Commissioner of Police, Matanga Godwin. Is that correct? Yes, please. Excellent. Let's go. Thank you. 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 Thank Please may you be seated. Thank you. Thank you. Our director of ceremonies, Dr. Alavmo Gomera. The Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe President, Mr. Ona Mugandi. 
the Institute of Chartered Secretaries, Administrators in Zimbabwe, Vice President and Education Committee Chairperson, Mr. Jonathan Dube, Deputy Commissioner General of Crime, Comrade Mind Ingrandi, Deputy Commissioner General of Administration, Comrade Len Muller, Deputy Commissioner General of Human Resources, Comrade Lorraine Chipato. Unfortunately, Comrade Mutamba is not with us this afternoon. He is paying some visits to some some of the provinces in the country, so he's traveling right, right now. Past presidents of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe here present, Commissioners of Police here present, the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe delegates here present, senior officers and officers of the Zimbabwe Republic Police here present, members of the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, a very, very good afternoon. I am pleased to officiate at this momentous occasion where we are witnessing the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Zimbabwe Republic Police and the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe. The objective of the MOU is to strengthen collaboration, particularly in the realm of training police officers in investigative forensic accounting. Indeed, African folklore is rich with lessons on the importance of collaborative effort. Allow me, therefore, to quote one Shona idiom, which says in the court, Imbrambiri Astorer Vinyama, unquote. This literally means that where two parties engage in collaborative efforts, victory is certainly guaranteed. This narrative aptly captures the essence of today's event and our shared hope to be victors against society's common enemy, which is crime. Let me thus take this opportunity to extend my profound gratitude to the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe's board and management for entering into this long strategic partnership with the Zimbabwe Republic Police. Indeed, it is such collaboration that will help us as a country to curb the malady of crime. Ladies and gentlemen, this marriage comes at an opportune time when the contemporary policing terrain is now characterized by the prevalence of white collar and cyber crimes. Under such circumstances, society expects the law enforcement agencies to up their game in order to tame this type. Indeed, Cementing of this collaborative capacity building relationship with the Institute, with the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and uh, Administrators in Zimbabwe will definitely go a long way in imparting the necessary skills to police officers in order for them to be able to deliver as expected by society. I wish to highlight that the Zimbabwe Republic Police is already enjoying the fruits of this marriage, with at least 20 police officers having already graduated. <laughs> police officers having already graduated with a diploma in investigative forensic accounting. These police officers are now deployed to appropriate sections where their skills are not only 
being fully utilized, but are yielding positive results. As an organization, our partnership with professional bodies and institutions of higher learning, such as the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe, is driven by the police's desire to render quality service to members of the public who are our number one client. Furthermore, one way of ensuring that we are able to deliver on this mandate is through conducting incisive investigations that uncover even nimble criminal intricacies, including those criminals who specialize in white collar crime. Criminals with a pungent for white collar vices are not only smart, but are often involved in high impact criminal activities that affect a bigger part of society, thereby retarding the normal functioning of the business environment. I have no doubt that this capacity building partnership between the Zimbabwe Republic Police and the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe will culminate in a significant number of our police officers being imbued with the contemporary and the professional forensic investigative skills, thus heightening the fight against the money laundering, fraud, cyber crime, and related crime. Given the renowned stature of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe, especially being one of the leading professional training bodies in the country, the Zimbabwe Republic Police believes this is the correct path to take in developing the skills of our police officers in investigating white collar crime. I am delighted that this partnership comes on the backdrop of similar synergies the Zimbabwe Republic Police has with the University of Zimbabwe, the National University of Science and Technology, NAST, the Bindura University of Science Education, the Harare Institute of Technology, among others. Our goal as the Zimbabwe Republic Police is to foster and sustain a safe and a secure environment in the country as it is cardinal to the economic development agenda being pursued by the Second Republic under the National Development Strategy Number 1. <coughs> the Zimbabwe Republic Police looks forward to a fruitful marriage with the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe. May I also challenge our two organizations to continue exploring more avenues aimed at enhancing our collaboration. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, let me point out that sticks in a bundle are unbreakable. They are much stronger than one. Once again, the Zimbabwe Republic Police hardly appreciates the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators in Zimbabwe tried to partner the Zimbabwe Republic Police and create such an unbreakable bundle. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for listening to my address. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you for very much. I think we may all sit down. Well said, well received. I think we get to a stage where we do the sign. Symbolic. Uh, I'm sure um, Commissioner Msalingana and uh, okay, we have uh, the. Thank you very much.
ladies and gentlemen, we we'll witness the signing of the memorandum of understanding uh, between the Zimbabwe Republic Police and the Institute of, of Chartered Governance and Accounting in Zimbabwe. Uh, I think to start, to kick start, I think we'll give the honor to the Commissioner General of Police to append his signature. Signing ceremony is going on. Uh, allow me, CG, the Commissioner General of Police, yes, to thank your team, uh, led by Commissioner Mtaringana, Commissioner Lifa, and them, for working with our team uh, at the Institute. It was, a ne it was never an easy task because we, they needed to make sure that the contents are exactly what we intend to do as two organizations. So they put in a lot of work research and in light of that ladies and gentlemen help me just thank the team General, allow me to ask uh, Deputy Commissioner Human Resources, Mrs. Chipato, <coughs> to receive the uh, copy of the Memorandum of Understanding uh, on behalf of the Zetra team. Well, well, Madam, well. ma'am. <laughs> While she's receiving uh, the copy, I would like to ask members and students manager, as well as Commissioner Saringana,
to please come through so that you can honor your works. Thank you. Commissioner General of Police signing together with uh, the President of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators, now the Institute of Chartered Governance and Accounting uh, Institute in Zimbabwe, guided by uh, the Commissioner Ms. Arendana, uh, responsible for training, uh, the Deputy Commissioner El Tripato, Human Resources, and the Members and Students Manager from the ICSAS. Ladies and gentlemen, the signing ceremony is completed. Uh, Commissioner General of Police, uh, senior police officials here present, uh, members from ICSAS, this does it for our signing. However, I wish we had invited the police band to <laughs> Celebrate with us. We always love those guys. But uh, allow me at this stage uh, to ask our Vice President of the Institute of Chartered uh, Governance and Accounting of uh, Professionals, Mr. Jonathan Dume, to give a vote of thanks before we partake in the few hits that have been prepared. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director of Ceremonies. Um, taking the cue from my president that uh, police now are allowed, uh, supposed to identify the unidentified. <laughs> what I have decided to do is to, to make sure that I am identifiable mm -hmm. because I'm physically and socially distant mm -hmm. from all of you. So, Honorable Safe, allow me to put my mask aside. <laughs> Director of Ceremonies, Commissioner General of the Police, Commissioner General of Tanda Vantu, Odi Matanda. You it correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ixas President, Mr. Tawana Mujandi, my co Vice President, Ms. Stembele Nuru in absentia, Deputy Commissioner General of Crime, Deputy Commissioner General MP Ngirandi, Deputy Commissioner General of Administration, Deputy Commissioner General of El Nure, Deputy Commissioner General of Human Resources, Deputy Commissioner General El Chipato, Past Presidents of ICSAS here present, Commissioners of the Police here present, ICSAS delegates here present, Senior staff and officers of the Zimbabwe Public Police here present, members of the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends. It is indeed my singular honor to stand before this august delegation and give the vote of thanks to conclude the happenings of this momentous event. I don't know who wrote this, but I'm going to read it. An educated community is an empowered and enlightened community. I have no source for that. So maybe you can put me as the source. <laughs> <laughs> Crimes and criminal activities have evolved with time. We no longer focus on pickpocketers. For they, are no longer, they no longer need to be physically picking from people's pockets, but they are now masters of the keyboard and the cyberspace. Mm. And indeed, we need to elevate our police to become part of the cyberspace. Yes. We no longer need to train our police on physical fitness, mm -hmm. but also on mental and cyber fitness. Yes. So with this statement, if I'm allowed, even the weight of police officers will be allowed to be more than what was expected. <laughs> <laughs> Because for theirs, it's no longer about running, it's no longer about chasing thieves, but it's about where they are found in the cyberspace. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
This understanding that we have signed this afternoon is going to improve and elevate the policing of our nation. And we as the institute, we are saying this is a welcome remark as we will be part of this history that we are creating today. Mm -hmm. In that our police shall become a beacon even in the region and beyond. Yes. In terms of policing and giving security to the nation. It is therefore our wish as an institute that the police become a beacon and a point of reference in terms of policy and in terms of the new wave of crime that is now evolving and existing in the country. I will not conclude thanking all that year present without quoting one of my favorite writers, Chinua Achebe. In his book, Things Fall Apart, he said, Amaliza the bed said, since men have learned to shoot without missing, I have learned to fly without pitching. <laughs> I would want to say it is a challenge to the police officers and to the police fraternity that since men have learned to steal without being present, physically present, the police officers should learn to arrest without being physically present. <laughs> Let us all go well after this momentous event, knowing very well that we are heading in a positive and indeed in a developmental direction. We aim that we have a police force that is able to implement all the dictates that are provided for in the NDS-1 <coughs> and indeed the Agenda 2030. With those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for blessing this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Vice President uh, of the Institute. And um, I, I didn't know that you're an orator. <laughs> it's a skill that we need to capitalize <laughs> at the Institute. But just to thank, uh, once again, Commissioner General and your team uh, for gracing us. I will, at uh, this stage, ask all the Deputy Commissioners, your Lieutenant, please, to come up front for a photo uh, shoot and with the Commissioner General and the President, the First President and the Vice President, please, if you may. Let's hear. Thank you.